This cat was found on the side of a rural road. The animal was in a deplorable condition. Its face was covered in dirt, and its nose and mouth were so caked with dirt and dried blood that they were almost not opening anymore. It was clear that the animal had been suffering for a long time and urgently needed to be sent for treatment. The cat was immediately taken to the veterinarian. The doctors first cleaned its nasal cavity and bathed it, and then put it on a drip. The cat spent the night at the clinic, coming to its senses. In the morning, the cat was visited by a surgeon. The doctor very carefully felt the head of the animal, as the bones of its skull literally crunched under his hands. It immediately became clear that the animal needed surgery, primarily to close the cleft on its face so that it could drink and breathe normally. The situation was complicated, as the cat's exhaustion and weakness left it with no chances of surviving the surgery, but the cat also could not gain weight, as without the surgery there was no possibility of it eating normally. The battle for the life of the cat, named Pavlik, lasted two weeks. Every morning, the volunteers ran to his cage first and checked whether he was breathing or not. Every day, Pavlik's mouth, nose, and eyes were rinsed. He was fed with a syringe, given injections and drips. These procedures were repeated daily, and often several times a day. Despite all the efforts, Pavlik was slowly fading away. A miracle happened unexpectedly. One morning, Pavlik met the volunteers not lying in the cage, but sitting. Although the cat could not see anything, he turned his head from side to side, and sensing the smell of meat food, which was specially diluted with water for him. He even meowed, trying to hurry the volunteer. That day, Pavlik ate with an appetite that was atypical for him. After finishing his usual portion, the cat still remained hungry, so it was decided to run to the store for an additive. After lunch, Pavlik had enough strength not only to go to the bathroom normally, but also to crawl to the edge of the diaper, do his business, and move away to lie on a clean spot. For everyone, Pavlik's successes became a real celebration, as it meant that he was getting better, and soon the doctors would be able to perform the surgery, after which he would gradually start returning to a full life.